remember what the haters talking about. Gail, I want you to understand what's going on here and how I feel about it. Kobe's body is not even in the ground yet, and you're already doing what you do best. Disparage the black man accused of a transgression while you simultaneously and conspicuously give a pass to white men accused of the same thing. If you're all about journalistic integrity, why haven't you interviewed the friends of Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, Matt Lauer, Dustin Hoffman, Donald Trump? No need to answer. You know your beans from your cornbread. You know who's glazing those buttermilk biscuits. Come on, Gail, you know how this interview thing goes. You can talk about a wide range of topics all you want, but when it comes down to getting that promotional piece, the network is going to invariably take an excerpt of the most salacious part and put it out there. They don't care nothing about context, pain and suffering. They don't care anything about how the family feels about it. All they care about is ratings, and if they can get those ratings accomplished and take a proverbial shot at the black man while doing it, that's even better. Before I go any further, salute to Lisa Leslie for not allowing you to bait her into the foolishness. In your interview with Lisa, as a friend of Kobe's, Lisa said she had never seen Kobe behave in the manner in which he was accused, and you, Gail King, went out of your way to downplay her comments telling her she wouldn't know. Question, as a true friend of Kobe's, how is it that she wouldn't know, but a fake friend like you would? The same people who told you to not say anything after the backlash should have advised you to not create the backlash in the first place. What you did was inexcusable. If you and your buddy Oprah didn't have a history of undermining the black man, Perhaps the benefit of doubt could be afforded. But no, that ain't you. See, you and Oprah, you guys have a penchant for going after black men, trying to pass yourself off as some type of saviors for sexual assault victims. The truth is, you don't care anything about victims of sexual assault unless the accused is a black male. This is why celebrities don't trust people in the media. You said you've been with Kobe on many social occasions. You said he was very kind and very warm to you, and you felt you had a friendly relationship. So let me get this straight. The man allows you into his personal space. He probably considered you a friend, and immediately upon his death, you highlight one of the lowest moments in his life, with no regard for his grieving wife, children, mother, or father. Black men are the most persecuted, prosecuted, murdered, hated on, demonized group in the entire world, but yet they figured out a way to get the slow pokes to believe that somehow black men are the boogeyman. Gail, what you did was premeditated so you can save the fake apologies. You knew that you would piss off black men. What you didn't count on was black women standing and throwing that fire on your ass. What am I getting at, Gail? The American media, in collusion with the American government, has done an immense job disseminating a negative image of black people around the globe especially black men. They don't need the help of a mammy masquerading as a respectable black journalist. Gail King, you may be able to get over on some of the people some of the time with your puppy face soft-spoken commentary, but you can't get over on me none of the time. I know you're tight. You are evil personified. You are a white supremacist with a black face. You are an enemy to the black community and should not be trusted under any circumstances. You too, Oprah. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.